हेलो हेलो एंड गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज़ मी ट्यूनिंग इन फ्राम मियामी ये है मेरा ट्रैवल व्लॉग एंड दिस इज़ मी डे टू सोकिंग अप द सन गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम ट्यूनिंग इन फ्राम मियामी जैसे कि मैंने कहा था आई एम एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग विद न्यू कॉन्टेंट सो हियर इज़ माई मियामी वॉक व्लॉग आज है डे टू वी एक्चुअली रीच येस्टडे सुबह कुछ ग्यारह बजे बट वी व आई वॉज वेरी एग्जॉस्टेड बिकॉज इट वॉज अ फिफ्टीन आवर डायरेक्ट फ्लाइट और थोड़ा बहुत जेट लाइन टाइप भी किक इन कर रहा था बट आई थिंक हमने उसको बहुत सक्सेसफुली मैनेज किया है एंड आई वोट टॉक अबाउट दैट लेटर इन आफ्टर टू डेज अगर वो कन्फर्म हो गया दैट आई सक्सेसफुली मैनेज बाई जेट लैग सो वर इन दी अपार्टमेंट वीव टेक एन एयर बी एन बी हम अपार्टमेंट में हैं मैं किचन में हूँ आई एम हैविंग माई कॉफी एंड थोड़ी देर के बाद वो गोन जस्ट लीव और कल रात को जो मैंने खाया शाया आई वो शो इट टू यू वाइल आई एम गेटिंग रेडी एंड इन जनरल बिकॉज लास्ट नाइट हमें बहुत टाइम अपने आप को फोर्स करना था कि हम सोए नहीं एंड हम जागे हुए रहे सो दैट वी कम ऑन टू द मे आई मी टाइम जोन सो द बेस्ट थिंग टू डू दैट टू डू दैट द बेस्ट वे टू डू दैट वॉज कि हम डिनर पर चले गए एंड बाई फोर्स वी हैव टू स्टे अप फॉर अ वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम वी केम होम ओनली बाई ट्वेल्व मिड नाइट एंड एंड दैट्स हाउ वी गुड you know just then crash so we went to one of the most iconic restaurants in uh, Miami city uh, it's a 100 year old restaurant it's called uh, joe uh, joe's stone crab and had some really good food very nice dessert so wo sari details main aapko dikhaungi while i'm doing a get ready with me rolling back into day 1 raat ko hum gaye the to this iconic restaurant called joe's stone crab it's 100 years old i start this was my outfit of the night and i started out with a lychee martini then we ordered some fresh oysters and ye serve hote hain vinegar and some ketchup ke sath vinegar thoda sa maine nikal ke isko replace kiya with tabasco cuz i like things extra spicy और मुझे लगता है कि मैंने उसको थोड़ा ज़्यादा ही स्पाइसी कर दिया था बट हैविंग सेट दैट आई रियली रियली इन्जॉयड इट इन फैक्ट दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एक्चुअली इन्जॉयड फ्रेश ऑइस्टर्स फिर रिकमेंड किया था हमें लॉबस्टर मैक एंड चीज विच वॉज ऑल्सो प्री डिसेंट एंड दीज आर द क्लॉज ऑफ द क्रैब द स्टोन क्लो द स्टोन क्लॉ इज एक्चुअली अ वराइटी जिसमें ये क्लॉज इतने बड़े और जूसी होते हैं देर इज़ नो डिसेंट वे ऑफ ईटिंग अ क्रैब आई एम ऑबियसली टॉकिंग टू माई हजबेंड हेयर बट But basically, this is um, me opening up my crab, and वो एक छोटा सा हमें कटोरा टाइप दे देते हैं जिसके अंदर हमें सारे शेल्स डालने होते हैं सो थोड़ी सी स्ट्रगल थी एज यू कैन सी बट आई मैनेज टू गैट अ नाइस चंकी पीस ऑफ द क्रैब एंड दिस वॉज सो डिलिशियस इवन दो इसमें कोई स्पाइसिस नहीं थे उन्होंने हमें एक सैलड सीजर टाइप ड्रेसिंग दिया था टू हैव दिस विद एंड दिस वॉज रियली रियली नाइस इन फैक्ट जितने भी क्राउज मैंने अभी तक आए हैं इन इंडिया एंड एवरी वेयर एल्स उनके क्लॉस बिल्कुल पतले पतले होते हैं एंड ईटिंग इट इज सच अ स्ट्रगल बिकॉज द इनपुट टू आउटपुट रेशो डजन मेक सेंस बट दीज वर फैट जूसी मीटी रियली रियली गुड Let me show you a close up of the stone uh, crab claw as you can see it's really really massive if you ever come to Miami I highly recommend you come to this restaurant the key lime desert this was the desert of the night and kabhi kabhi hota hai na kuch cheeze kha ke aapko realize hota hai that you were literally born to taste this and that was this moment for me it is so delicious and I'm going to learn how to make this because I am actually addicted and that was day 1 So I've had a shower. Sheet pass lagaya hai because my skin was feeling a little dehydrated. I'm just gonna quickly make some breakfast. Under toast, very very simple. Uske baad we're gonna leave today. We're gonna go a little further away from Miami City into another little town. Jhama ne suna hai that the beaches are really beautiful. So we'll go check it out. So this is me having my under toast, and then we'll head out. So this is my outfit for the day. A change carry kia hai maine. सो हम जा रहे हैं टू कीज वेस्ट इट्स अन अदर स्मॉल टाउन नेक्स्ट टू मी एम ई अबाउट थ्री एंड हाफ आवर्स अ वे एंड द ड्राइव वॉज लॉन्ग बट इट वॉज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल ड्राइव एवर सो हियर आर सम स्निपेट्स ऑफ आर ड्राइविंग एज यू कैन सी द डे इज सुपर क्लियर इट्स नॉट क्लाउडी इट्स ब्राइट देर वी आर ऑन द ओवर वाटर ब्रिज देर इज ओशन ऑन बोथ साइड्स एंड इट वॉज रियली 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 वेरी ब्यूटिफुल Throughout the ride you keep seeing these boats being stacked up for sale or rental and it is a big boating city 
इस पॉइंट पे हम रुके थे क्योंकि द बराज हैड टू गो अप फॉर सम शिप मूवमेंट एंड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कैप्चर द ब्यूटी ऑफ द हाउसेज ये जो घर छोटे तो नहीं है काफ़ी बड़े हैं विच आर एक्चुअली अक्रॉस यू नो जस्ट टचिंग द वाटर दे आर सो ब्यूटिफुल ऑब्वियसली वी हैव अ लॉर्ड ऑफ वाटर फ्रंट हाउसेज इन डुबई इज वेल बट दिस इज लाइक वेरी रॉ एंड रियल ये है एक बेटर व्यू जो मैं कहना चाहती थी वेर यू हैव वाटर ऑन बोथ साइड ऑफ you know and it's crystal blue it's literally like maldives vibes and ye bhi maine kuch drive ka part cover kiya hai because it was really really beautiful 200 kilometers straight drive very very beautiful and yahan kuch lanes bani hui thi jahan log fishing kar rahe the which i thought was very very interesting to capture and yehi sab chalta raha and then we kept moving ahead ye fancy si bike pe couple mujhe bahut bahut cute look lage and the lady was actually riding the man is behind so i just captured it. and is tarah se 3 and a half later we reached the beautiful city of keys ye hai unka main marketplace area everything is pastel cute Pinteresty. This is me walking through the markets. You have all the major brands, plus you have a lot of local brands selling here. फिर हम गए इस particular cafe में. This is the Cuban Cafe Keys West, third best place to eat in Keys West, according to TripAdvisor. This was my lunch, which is fajita basically. And then we headed out to the uh, Fort Zachary Beach area. ये है उनका beach area, and it was almost like 4:35 in the evening. This is me, and इसके बाद हमने बीच के बाद हमने खत्म किया वी वेंट टू वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेस इन कीज वेस्ट जिसके लिए लाइन लगी थी विच इज द सदन मोस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंटल यूएसए वहां फोटो वोटो खिंचाई उसके बाद वी वॉक अराउंड लिटिल बेट एंड दिस वॉज सो सो ब्यूटिफुल आई एब्सोल्यूटली लवड बींग यहाँ मैं काफी देर तक थी विद माई हसबेंड इट वॉज नाइस वेदर एंड वी वर जस्ट सोकिंग इन द वातावरण फाइनली साढ़े तीन घंटे गाड़ी चला के वी केम बैक स्विच ऑन सम Netflix or at some pizza and that was it my friends was day 2 Good morning everyone today is day 3 of me being in Miami first off this is the outfit for the day it's a nice long flowing kaftan uh the details i will put at the end of the video and uh, basically aaj ka plan kuch is tarah se hai that we're first going to go for a few city walks we're going to walk around the city we will go to the beach and uske baad we might finish up with some shopping but let's see wherever i'm going as usual i'm going to take you with me so let's move on with day number 3 so we decided to spend the day at north beach miami and kyunki wahan traffic kafi hota hai parking ka issue hota hai we decided to take an uber and not drive and it was quite worth it now we are walking into the beach and this is me capturing yet another pastel pink building yahan bahut sari buildings are in pastel colors and i love it people playing games on the beach and this is the miami north beach beautiful colorful so many people i decided to go jump straight into water and ye maine isliye shoot kiya tha because main dikhana chahti hu ye do teen products which actually live up to their waterproof and 16 hour promise uh this is just the beautiful sea and i love the fact that itne sare gradients the blue ke like you see the water being light dark light dark again my nail paint which is looking rather nice and here is me reapplying sunscreen jo main hamesha kehti hu and abhi bhi kar rahi hu every time i went into the water came back reapplied my sunscreen because that is a super essential this is by namely naturals इस पॉइंट पे मैं दिखाना चाहती हूँ कि जो मेरी पीछे फैमिली बैठी थी दे वर प्लेइंग सच अमेजिंग म्यूजिक एंड आई वाज टोटली वाइबिंग टू इट सो दिस वाज लाइक एन एक्स्ट्रा बोनस टिप फिर मैं कुछ देर लेट गई एंड आई वाज जस्ट कैप्चरिंग द स्काई व्हिच वाज लुकिंग सुपर प्रिटी एंड ब्लू एंड द वाटर व्हिच इज ऑब्वियसली वेरी वेरी ब्लू एंड ब्यूटिफुल काफ़ी बार मैं पानी में गई एंड देन फाइनली आई डिसाइडेड टू स्लीप वी गॉट सम स्नैक्स एंड वी एट अ लिटल बिट ऑन द बीच उसके बाद काफ़ी देर सोने के बाद मैं उठ गई एंड देन वी डिसाइडेड टू गो हैड गेट सम पिक्चर्स जो मैं अभी आपको दिखाऊंगी अ लिटिल मैंडेटरी फोटो शूट एंड उसके बाद वी डिसाइडेड टू बेसिकली गो एंड हैव लंच इट वॉज ऑलमोस्ट फाइव पी एम सो इट वॉज रियली लेट तो बीच के बाद चेंज करके हम आ गए हैं फॉर लंच फाइव पी एम आई एम तो आई एमिंग सैंडविच मैंने सैंडविच ऑर्डर किया था जस्ट लुक एट दाइज and i will share with you a picture of what my husband is having with some humongous fish which looks delicious so iske baad plan on rahega i'll keep you guys posted 
गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे इज डे फोर ऑफ मी बींग इन माई एमी एंड टू स्टार्ट टुडे इज डे मैं सबसे पहले कहना चाहती हूँ ह्यूज 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 मैसिव रिस्पेक्ट फॉर ऑल दोज पीपल हु मेक ब्लॉग्स लाइक हाउ डू यू डू इट वॉट इज द लेवल ऑफ डेडिकेशन एंड डिसिप्लिन ये मेरा पहली बार है दर आई एम ट्राइंग टू शूट एन एक्सटेंसिव ब्लॉग एंड आधी चीज़ें मैं भूल जाती हूँ बीच बीच में मैं शूट नहीं करती एंड जब मुझे याद आता है एम जस्ट टू टायर टू डू इट बट एनी विच वेज येस्टरडे का मैं थोड़ा सा आपको बताना चाहती हूँ कि हमने क्या किया सो बाय द टाइम वी फिनिश्ड लंच इट वाज ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स पी एम एंड उसके बाद वी डिसाइडेड टू जस्ट वॉक अराउंड द नॉर्थ बीच एरिया आई डिसाइडेड टू गेट इनटू अ फार्मेसी एंड लुक एट सम स्किन केयर वी वर इन वॉल ग्रीन्स एंड ऑनेस्टली मुझे इतना कुछ एक्साइटिंग नहीं लगा दे वर प्रिटी मच आउट ऑफ स्टॉक ऑन अ लॉड ऑफ स्टफ एंड ऐसा भी कुछ मुझे वहाँ दिखा नहीं विच आई डोंट गेट लाइक इन डुबाई सो आई डोंट रिली शॉप फॉर मच आई जस्ट पिक अप सम वेटमिन सम एक्स्ट्रा सनस्क्रीन एंड दैट्स प्रिटी मच इट उसके बाद वी केम होम वी चिल्ड इन हैथ सम डिनर वॉच सम टी वी आई एडिटेड सम मोर कॉन्टेंट एंड दैट्स इट अभी कुछ सुबह के नौ बजे हैं माई हजबेंड इज स्टिल स्लीपिंग एंड आई एम गेट एम स्लीप बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट यू डू ऑन हॉलीडेज यू गेट योर रेस्ट एंड आई गोट मेक सम ब्रेकफस्ट आई हैव अ लॉड ऑफ कॉन्टेंट दैट आई नीड टू एडिट सो जो मेरा रेगुलर कॉन्टेंट होता है विच गोज ऑन इंस्टाग्राम विच गोज ऑन यूट्यूब विच गोज ऑन टिक टॉक मैंने सब शूट करके रखा है एंड इट नीड्स टू बी एडिटेड एंड मैं धीरे 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 वो एडिट करके स्केड्यूल करती हूँ सो आई गोट स्पेंड सम टाइम डूइंग दैट आज का प्लान कुछ इस तरह से है दैट वी आर प्लानिंग टू गो हैड एंड फिनिश अप सम शॉपिंग there's some gifts that we need to pick up there's some stuff that i need to see so hopefully today i'll i'm going to be much more disciplined and i'll take you shopping with me but abhi hum so main soch rahi hu ki main kuch breakfast banati hu and i'm going to show you what i'm planning to cook and eat breakfast time and what i'm going to have today is a very desi breakfast so the one thing that you guys may not know about me is that dil se i'm a super desi person i love my desi indian khana and beyond a few days i cannot eat like different cuisines i love all cuisines i love food but after a few days i start craving for my normal desi khana i'm one of those people jinke upar memes bante hain right ki wo bahar ja ke desi parathe theple khate and that's me so obviously i'm not going to be doing that cooking so what i carried with me all the way from dubai is this this is called kappa poha so iske ye is tarah ka sachet ye sachet ek packet aata hai jispe poha hai yahan pe मार्क uh, बनाया हुआ है कि इसके अंदर आपको आपका पानी डालना है एंड देन दिस विल गेट कुक्ड इन अ फ्यू मिनट्स इन अबाउट एट मिनट्स एंड देन वी कैन ईट इट सो दैट्स व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू दैट्स व्हाट बी माय ब्रेकफास्ट सो दिस इज द ब्रेकफास्ट ये बन गया एंड आई चेक द सॉल्ट एंड द सॉल्ट इज ड्राई एंड इट इज प्रिटी नाइस सो इफ यू लाइक मी एन यू लाइक देसी ब्रेकफास्ट दिस इज अ गुड ऑप्शन डब्बा मैंने फेंक दिया बट आई नो द नेम ऑफ द ब्रांड मैं बाद में डाल दूंगी and मैंने एक उपमा भी कैरी किया है सो दीज आर टू ब्रेकफास्ट ऑप्शन आई कैर इट जस्ट फॉर मी बिकॉज माई हजबेंड इज़ वेरी हैप्पी विद एक्स इन टूस्ट वेरी नाइस और राइट सो वी आर रेडी टू गो आउट आज का प्लान ये है कि हमने लास्ट दो तीन दिनों में काफ़ी साइट सींग कर ली बीच थेरेपी कर ली हिस्टोरिकल पॉइंट्स देख लिए हिस्टोरिकल जगहों पे खाना खा लिया सो टुडे वी गोइंग इंडल्ज इन सम रिटेल थेरेपी एंड वे आर गोइंग टू एन आउटलेट मॉल नाउ ऑनेस्टली एट दिस पॉइंट आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड बिकॉज ऑफ नॉट बिकॉज वी गोइंग टू एन आउटलेट मॉल फॉर शॉपिंग बट बिकॉज आफ्टर हैविंग लिव इन टू बाई फॉर सो मेनी ईयर्स किसी भी जगह पे मुझे शॉपिंग एक्साइट ही नहीं करती बिकॉज डिबाई एज यू ऑल नो इज द शॉपर्स पैराडाइज बट वॉट डज एक्साइट मी इज अ गुड डील एंड एज वी ऑल नो आउटलेट मॉल्स आर नोन फॉर देर ग्रेट डील सो लेट्स यू वर आई फाइंड आई बिलीव वहाँ पे ब्लूमिंग टेल्स का आउटलेट स्टोर है सो आई एम क्वाइट एक्साइटेड अगर तो मैं एक बहुत स्पेसिफिक ब्यूटी स्किन केयर शॉपिंग करूँगी तो मैं उसका एक छोटा सा मिनी ब्लॉग बना दूंगी बट अदर देन दैट एवरीथिंग आई डू टुडे वी विल ट्राई एंड कैप्चर ऑल ऑफ दैट सो लेट्स गो शॉपिंग सो इट वॉज रेनिंग क्वाइट अ बेट और हम पहुंचे सॉ ग्रास मिल्स ये एक आउटलेट मॉल है दिस इज यू मंगस सो वी डिसाइड टू गो इन हेयर एंड सबसे पहले हमने शुरुआत करी है द नाइकी स्टोर इट हैज सम गुड डील्स उसके बाद हम गए टी जे मैक्स एंड यहाँ पे आई वॉज सुपर डिसअपॉइंटेड बिकॉज दिस वॉज लिटरी लाइक अ होल सेल शॉप अफकोर्स इट हैज सम कोच एंड माइकल कोर्स एंड आई वॉज नॉट रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन ऑल ऑफ दैट बट एवरी थिंग वॉज जस्ट सो बैडली कैप्ट इट वॉज लिटरी लाइक शॉपिंग एट अ मैसिव डिस्काउंट स्टोर आई रैन आउट उसके बाद से फोर आ गई एंड आई डि नॉट पिक अप एनी स्किन केयर बिकॉज लिटरली यू गेट एवरी थिंग इन दुबई बट वॉट आई डिड एंड अप पिकिंग अप वॉज सम मेकअप सो देर इज अ ब्रांड कॉल वन साइज ब्यूटी जो नहीं मिलता एंड उसका मैंने बी बी क्रीम सेटिंग स्प्रे एंड ब्लश उठाया अपने
बहुत सारे घंटे स्पेंड किए एंड आई डिड सम शॉपिंग वी एंड द डे बाई गोइंग टू द सुपर मार्केट वी नीड टू पिकअप सम मोर मिल्क सम वाटर बेसिक स्नैक्स काइंड ऑफ स्टाफ सो वी पिक ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड कुछ रात के दस साढ़े दस बजे हम घर पहुंचे गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू डे फाइव ऑफ बींग इन माई एमी जैसे कि आपने देखा कल का पूरा दिन स्पेंड किया था हमने आउटलेट मॉल में इट वॉज अ ग्रेट फन एक्सपीरियंस लॉट ऑफ वॉकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ शॉपिंग इनिशियली मुझे चीज़ें इतनी एक्साइटिंग नहीं लगी बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली वेन यू गो टू एन आउटलेट मॉल यू नॉट गेटिंग लाइक द लेटेस्ट स्टाइल यू नॉट गेटिंग द लेटेस्ट डिजाइन बट यू आर सॉर्ट ऑफ गेटिंग गुड प्राइस विच मेक्स इट वर्थ इट बट ओवरऑल मुझे ये भी लगा कि यू नो अमेरिका इज नो लॉन्ग अर दैट चीप एज इट यूज टू बी और इट्स नॉट दैट अफोर्डेबल एज इट यूज टू बी प्राइस इज ऑल ओवर हैव गॉन अप एंड जितने भी लोकल लोगों से मैंने बात करी है सब लोग कह रहे हैं दैट पोस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी पोस्ट कोविड देर हैज बिन अ मैसेव मैसेव प्राइस इंक्रीज जो हर जगह दिख रहा था आई मीन द लास्ट टाइम आई वॉज हेयर इट वॉज इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड तभी भी मैं दूसरे कोस्ट पर थी आई वॉज इन कैलिफोर्निया एंड तभी भी बहुत शॉपिंग करी थी एंड ओवरऑल आई डेट डिड फील द प्राइस हैव गॉन अप हैविंग सेट दैट इट डिड नॉट स्टॉप मी आई हैड अ रियली फन टाइम शॉपिंग बहुत थक गए आई वॉकड अबाउट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड स्टेप्स जो मेरे कभी पूरे नहीं होते हैं वी वर वेरी एग्जॉस्टेड आफ्टर वी केम होम वी जस्ट यू नो चिल्ड हैड डिनर स्लेप्ट इन और आज का प्लान है दैट वी वॉन्ट गो अराउंड द सिटी एंड सी सम इम्पॉर्टेंट लैंडमार्क्स सी सम ऑफ द कूल प्लेस इन द सिटी बट उससे पहले वे गो नॉट ट्राई एंड गेट टू वन वेरी वेरी एक्साइटिंग थिंग जिसके बारे में आपको बताऊँगी एज द ब्लॉग गोज अलॉन्ग क्योंकि सडनली एक आइडिया आया है and it's a bit of a long shot but we're going to try and see ki hum wo kar sakte hain ki nahi agar humne wo kar liya it is going to be a massive highlight of this trip so yeah keep stay with me and keep watching and you will know ki humne wo massive highlight achieve kiya ya nahi so let's go get started with day 5 So we reach the Winwood neighborhood. ये एक area है which is basically a shopping eatery complex. बहुत बड़ा है and it is known for its super cool graffiti that's all over the walls. ये थोड़ा बहुत inspired है और rather La Mer जो Dubai में है वो area inspired है इस area से जहाँ भी walls पर बहुत सारी graffiti है We decided to stop by at this really cool local place called Taco Cayo for lunch and I actually just love the vibe. here hum bahar baithe the this is the inside of the restaurant where they're actually making fresh tortillas fresh everything fresh margaritas as well so this is where we decided to stop by and have some lunch this is basically a mexican place i started off with this really nice uh, margarita which was watermelon and then came our entire lunch we didn't realize ke portion size itna bada hoga but because we had not really had breakfast it was ideal we finished up quite a bit the one thing i love about food here is that it is so fresh you get mexican food everywhere in the world but they literally make their chips free uh, fresh they make their everything else fresh and yes it is very different i actually you went to the washroom and yaha meko mila itna bada wall mural of freda kalo so this was really cool and then we continued walking some more we spent like a lot of time in this particular area and the art is just so 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 very beautiful everywhere you look you see a new pl- uh, piece of art including restaurants including shops wherever else that you go i found this particular stretch absolutely cool because as you can see the wall art is very very interesting i got some really cool pictures for instagram as well and i'm super excited about it uske baad hum enter kiye is particular shop mein jahan ye scooters mil rahe the they were regular diesel scooters but just look at the artwork फिर हम पहुंचे शाम को कुछ शॉपिंग के लिए and i picked out this really cool set from samsonite just for myself itni sari cool candles mil rahi thi huge sizes at such great prices but obviously weight bahut zyada ho jata so i didn't pick out anything but as you can see there was beautiful stuff for the home and i almost picked out stuff and then i left it back because obviously we don't have that much baggage to carry at this point i did pick up a few skincare things that i'm going to show you later in a haul video but that's pretty much how we ended the day 
Good morning everyone. Welcome to day 6 of being in Miami. Today is going to be super exciting. Hum ja rahe hain Orlando Disneyland. Ye actually plan mein tha but it was kind of not confirmed because humne socha tha that we'll get here, we'll see how we are feeling, how the trip goes, what are the areas we're you know able to cover and uske baad hum decision lenge. So kal raat ko very impromptu we took a decision, booked our tickets. Today we're going to Disneyland. Hum pura din spend karenge aur ek din enough nahi hai for Disneyland. So we will be going to one of the four parks. I'm personally very excited. This is my first time to Disneyland. I've covered a lot of other theme parks, Universal Studios, this, that, Hollywood and the others. But Disneyland I've never done it. And in life, mein, I think, ek bar sabko karna chahiye, no matter what your age. So come with me. Let's go to Disneyland. No road trip is complete without food. I had actually packed some sandwiches and cold coffee which we carried and ate along the way as our breakfast. And as you're driving from Miami to Orlando, you can see that you have a straight road, 200 plus kilometers straight drive and the landscape change hota hai. The palm trees are now replaced by, with these pine trees and the landscape is changing. It is beautiful and really, really pretty. This was a really good drive. Then we were hungry so we stopped by at a gas station and we had some lunch. Uske baad we continued the drive and as you can see Disney World ke signage is aana shuru ho gai, Magic Kingdom ke signage aana shuru ho gaya and this is when I knew that we were very very close. We turned in towards Mag Magic Kingdom which is the particular place we are going. Yahan pe you stop by, yahan pe parking hai. They actually uh, charge you for parking for the entire day. Then you get into one of these shuttles and you move towards Disneyland. And here is me reapplying my sunscreen. Very, very important. Uske baad, shuttle ke saath hum parking lot se gaye towards the Disneyland. Now, once you enter Disneyland, it's quite a little journey to get to the park. Options hai monorail ya ferry. Hamne choose kari ferry and we decided to take the ferry to go to our particular park. It's like a two minute ride but I was very excited because generally this is so big and massive and everything is so pretty. It's literally out of a movie. So this is me in the ferry and ye hamari ferry ki ride shuru hui. We are moving towards Magic Kingdom. Jaise ki maine kaha, it's super super short so you can already see your park right in the beginning and I just walked around, took some little video for you guys to see how beautiful and picturesque it is and then finally we were inside the magic kingdom and this is literally out of a storybook you see all of these buildings kuch ke andar attractions hain but more than 50 percent of them just have restaurants and souvenir shops having said that it was really pretty and we were lucky ke jaise hi poche within 20 minutes they started with their main parade so is parade mein as you can see you are starting with all of the iconic disney characters there are people dis uh, dressed as disney characters ye log aate hain it was the mermaid then you're seeing some more of these characters coming in you're seeing this huge ass pirate ship which was really really cool so we were here for a long time to see the entire parade the dragon is watching and i managed to get a really really cool shot so now it will come take a look the fire coming out of the dragon's mouth i had slow mo so i'm pretty proud of myself for doing this right so this is something that continued for a about seven to eight minutes zada lamba nahi tha ye but in general you can see all of your so you see all your favorite characters yahan pe seven do offs are hai snow white are rahi hai all of these people are nicely dancing etc and pretty much everyone stops to see this parade i think ye din mein do teen baar hoti hai we caught it in the afternoon of course the parade ends with the iconic mickey mouse and minnie mouse ye maine slow mo mein capture kiya tha cuz they were so so cute and how can we forget Donald Duck, Daisy Duck, Goofy and all of these other characters. Then we continued walking towards the Magic Kingdom. This is actually like the main entrance. Wo thoda sa preview tha. And this is me. And then we continued just about walking in. Weekend nahi tha but yet there were just so many people here. And I'm just capturing the sky because this literally looks like a painting. And then I went into all of these kiddie rides. Uh, rides actually bilkul bhi tough nahi hai, which is great for me because I am personally somebody who's very scared. And uske baad we decided to take this little show and tell kind of a thing, which was the underwater world, uh, you know, based on Ariel the little mermaid so this is where we are getting into our little seashell shaped uh, seats and in seats for bethne ke baad you can see the epic when they right which is ariel how she said the prince and all of that and obviously i had to do this because i love that character as a child only by your realize what i came from how stupid she was 
But then obviously we've got your flounder here with all the other fish and this was really really cool. This was the beginning of the story where they basically show Kim Mermaid kitni khush hai apne life mein and then uh, basically she's living with all of these sea creatures and this was all very very pretty with the whole show and dance and the song and then comes the part when you know they're telling her you should not go to the shore and there is nothing on the shore and obviously she go ends up going to the shore and falling in love with the prince so all of this was covered uh they actually had the little mermaid which is ariel they also had a few other mermaids floating around so it was generally like a nice show this was a part where she meets the prince on the shore and she's in love and generally wo khatam ho gaya uske baad i decided to do this one right i know it's for children but i love it and i had to do it and i kind of convinced and dragged my husband to do it as well uh because jab wo movie aayi thi uh, which is uh, mary poppins tab se i have loved this <laughs> Then we walked around. We went into a lot of other places, did a few rides. So waiting time for anything that was good was quite a bit. It was almost like ten to fifteen minutes. And the waiting, jo hai, that up, wo apko kafi thaka deta hai. Otherwise, if you you know, as long as you're walking and just seeing the place, it's okay. And as a he, kuch chhe saad ghante ke baad, we ended our trip in uh, Magic Kingdom. This time, we decided to take the monorail back to the parking lot, and that was the end of the day. So day seven started really, really late because we were supremely exhausted after Disneyland. In fact, I was in no mood to get out, but we did decide to go to this beautiful beachfront in Key Biscayne. क्लियर वाइट सैंड ब्यूटिफुल बीच जहाँ मैं सो गई उसके बाद वी वेट फॉर अ वेरी वेरी लेट लंच दिस वॉज एक्चुअली ऑलमोस्ट इवनिंग एंड वी डिसाइड टू गो टू दिस मैक्सिकन जॉइंट विच इज़ रियली क्लोज टू दी एयर बी एन बी वी आर स्टेइंग इन बिकॉज अगेन इट हैज सम ग्रेट रिव्यूज एंड वहाँ जाके वाई लव सुपर हंगरी आई अटैक द नाचोज एंड आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग द मिर्ची टेस्ट विच इज़ वेर आई टेस्ट आउट द सॉसेज विच आई थिंक आई कैन टॉलरेट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ मिर्ची बट दिस रेड सॉस वॉज लाइक super super crazy so i don't know why i do this to myself i do this very very often uske baad i decided to get hold of another sauce this was an alapino green sauce which actually turned out to be pretty nice in fact it was salty spicy just the right kind so this is something that i've been seeing served here a lot in mexican restaurants so you should try it out then came this giant giant glass of margarita which was pretty refreshing for our main course we basically ordered a side of guac and a uh, and we shared this base uh, chicken breast whatever rajma chawal kind of a dish and then we went back home Good morning and welcome to day एट आज है हमारा almost final day in Miami. तो हम जा रहे हैं Miami से एक घंटे दूर to a very special place. But सबसे पहले we decided to stop by for lunch. We had left house a little late and रस्ते में कुछ options ज़्यादा नहीं थे So we decided to stop by at Taco Bell. I got these nacho fries, which is basically French fries with cheese sauce. which were pretty pretty good and i like the idea of having cheese sauce on the side then i got this particular plain cheese taco kind of a thing or it did have some chicken in it not quite sure but it was nice the taco shell was almost like having a uh, having doritos and then i tried decided to do the mirchi test one more time with two different sauces but they were both like okay nothing super spicy nothing like what i tasted yesterday in that other mexican restaurant so this was kind of okay pata hi nahi chala finished lunch quickly and then we started moving forward so basically hum log ja rahe hain to a place called everglades uh this is about an hour away from miami and yahan pe hai gator park so for all those who don't know and mujhe bhi ye nahi pata tha that miami is actually the alligator capital of the world and this is the national park jahan pe ek boat ride ke through wo aapko leke jate hain where you get to spot alligators so this is me in our boat hum log uh, we're just getting ready waiting for more passengers and then basically the boat ride is going to start so this is the boat which in which we are and bahut dheere dheere bahut aaram se it's going through this water this river is called the grass river because yahan pe grass bahut zyada height tak ukti hai we spotted the first alligator kept moving forward and then suddenly ye jo ride thi jo bahut calm shant si ride thi ye ho gayi bahut fast and we came in the middle of this marshy land all of this that you see is grass ye grass 
seedha kuch char foot ukti hai from the water base and this person i think his name was dave he was our guide for the day and then again the boat caught on some crazy speed not sure if you can tell on camera and this was the most fun part in fact i enjoyed this particular boat ride way more than i enjoyed seeing the alligators so this is what we did the boat ride was like a lot of fun and uh, ye if you are visiting everglades this is from 10 am to 4 pm 4 pm is the last ride and then basically we slowed down a little more as we approached the national park again and i just spotted another alligator plus i just loved the way the lotus is growing so i decided to capture it here is another alligator hidden behind ye unka snooze time hota hai i guess so they were pretty chilled then we walked in uh, to go ahead and see the alligator show and basically yahan pe uh, this particular guide he's holding these baby alligators jinki umar kuch 3 se 4 saal tak hai that's what he's holding and he's explaining to us about the difference between alligators and crocodiles what is dangerous what is not so dangerous basically all about alligators how many of them are found kitne endangered hain what whatever and then suddenly ye jo bade wale alligators so rahe the they decided to wake up so i decided to basically get a good shot of them uh they are obviously not from the wild so they have been born in captivity which means that ye bahut animal friendly hain ye basically attack nahi karte in general alligators are also quite friendly then we decided to just about walk around the place and you know chill for a while and then we decided to take our car a little further and see a little more of the national park uske baad we decided to drive back and raste mein mujhe finally nazar aa gaya target how can my trip to the united states be complete without going to target so i decided to finally do some shopping मेन स्ट्रीम ब्रांड्स में मुझे कुछ खास नहीं मिला पिक्सी का जो मुझे ब्लश चाहिए था विच इज़ बेसिकली द क्रीम ब्लश इट हैज़ बिन आउट ऑफ स्टॉक एवरीवेयर एंड बट हियर आई स्पॉटेड ब्रांड्स लाइक वर्स्ट यू नो हीरो कस्मेटिक्स एंड कपल ऑफ अदर्स आई ऑल्सो पिकड अप सम थिंग्स फ्रॉम दिस ब्रांड कॉल नटूरियम विच इज़ ऑल्सो एन इन्फ्लुएंसर ब्रांड न्यूट्रोजिना का पूरा आंखने का रेंज था आई डेंट पिक अप एनी थिंग फ्रॉम हेयर बट आई डिड स्पॉट बायोमा एंड इट वॉज एट अ रियली रियली गुड प्राइस सो आई पिकड अप अ फ्यू थिंग्स उसके बाद वी डिसाइडेड टू गो अ लिटल फर्दर एंड इट वॉज ओनली अबाउट फाइव थर्टी इन द इवनिंग सो वी डिसाइडेड टू गो बैक टू द ओशन ड्राइव विच इज़ इन साउथ बीच सो द प्लेस वेयर आई हैड डिनर द फर्स्ट first day i landed in miami that's exactly where we decided to go because it was you know we thought it will be a great idea to go see sunset see basically the night life which would be getting started and aaj weekend ka din hai today is friday night so we thought it will be a good idea so we reached there parked our car and started walking through the entire south beach area and the activity was just about getting started the vibe was really really good you know there were people sitting and chilling some people people were cycling uh there were a lot of people just trying to work out so they had all of this machinery right in the middle of the park and you could see people walking out uh, sorry not walking out working out also walking around also playing repairing their car taking their kids out so it was a really really fun vibe and we just walked through the entire stretch of south beach which was a lot of fun uske baad humne kiya angle ko thoda change and from the beach area we decided to walk parallelly this is where all the restaurants are this is where all the night clubs are and the beauty is ki inhone is pure area ko you know restore kiya hai so the buildings which are like really really old have been updated restored and they've got all these beautiful pastel colors some amazing lights happening and in general all of these restaurants are really bustling with life as you can see in this next clip there was this lady who was dancing entertaining and uh, you know she was basically a huge crowd puller because as a as you can see there are a lot of people who are just standing there watching her dance and it was really really fun 
So we continued our walk. Basically, we decided to just walk through. And at this point, we decided to go back to try, uh, you know, look at this particular place, which is the Versace Villa. This is where he was shot. And uske baad, we wanted to get, grab some drinks. But we did restaurant go to any other We wanted to spot one really special. So we went into this place, uh, which has to be the cutest that I have seen. And then uske under sirion se niche ja ke, there was this very private place for just like 20 people. We finished up uh, there and then we came back to the same place where we had dinner last uh, lunch last night to have some more food because I thought the food was really good. So I got myself some quesadillas, which were absolutely delicious. I know I said another place was one of the best Mexican places that I've eaten at, but I changed my mind. This has to be the best Mexican place I have ever eaten at. The food was so, so good especially the quesadillas. I also got myself some uh, prawn tacos, which were also fantastic. So, it was a lot of time ago because we had a you know, taco bell mein thoda sa hi khaya tha. So, we spent like a lot of time eating a lot of good food here. And I just kept telling my husband that, you know, it's our last night. So, don't think about the calories. And then I shared a little bit of his food and called it a day. Good morning. Today is day 9 of me being in Miami. As you can see, we are packing. Packing is going on. We need to check out now in the next 15-20 minutes. And uh, this is pretty much the end of the trip. I do still have a couple of hours before we actually get to the airport. So we are just going to go around the city and see a few places and maybe do a lunch or something. So I know I said that I'm vlog here, but we have a few hours before we get to the airport. And there was a place that I really wanted to go and that is the Vizcaya Museums and Gardens. This is a museum and this is a place where there is a lot of Renaissance art. So I wanted to check it out and because we have time, we are here. So we'll continue with the vlog. Keep watching. This is us entering the beautiful Vizcaya Garden and Museum Complex. This is built over acres and acres of land. It is gorgeous. This was actually a residence tha of an American businessman called James Dering. This was his winter residence and he assumed kiya jata hai, ya calculate kiya jata hai, ki at the time between 20 1913 and 1926 this area about 26 million dollars and later for about a million dollars this was sold to the uh, to the government of Florida this is completely inspired by the Italian Renaissance and being an American I believe the businessman James Daring he was really really inspired by the enti uh, entire Renaissance so he brought in all of those elements which you you can see in the stained glass uh, paintings, the, st uh, the crockery, the cutlery, it had some gorgeous cutlery. And this point, pe, mujhe ye bhi lag raha hai, as I'm seeing most of the crockery, I actually feel Roberto Cavalli and a lot of designers actually have taken their inspiration from here. This looks very, very similar to the Cavalli cutlery. This actually jo area hai, ye unke main dining hall ka serving area. Hai. Yahan se ye log khana serve karte the. And it's like they just like hai, it's not a kitchen, but it is basically an area where the servers used to stack up the plates and actually serve the food. And is ke baad ye pura mene area cover kiya hai. Obviously, this works like like a modern day you know a serving kitchen this is a beautiful serving bowl and this is the formal dining room where they obviously carpets on the wall pe, and you can see all of the beautiful uh, ceiling which has amazing amazing artwork this actually has a lot of woodwork on the ceiling so different ceilings have different uh, different kinds of work so obviously this is uh, you know woodwork and granite pillars lots and lots of art a lot of art over the years here donate kiya gaya hai. so this is the formal dining room and as we go along up taking a here nahi, sare dining rooms hai. this is just one of them and obviously uh, they've got like some of the history that they had put out here which is really cool i'm going to tell you a really really cool fact about these rooms ki jo sari pe dekh rahe hai, which actually looks like painting 
it's not painting it's actually hand painted wallpaper which was pretty unique for back then so wherever you see all of this jo aapko lagega our paintings are not paintings they are uh, you know hand painted wallpaper so as you can see yahan pe bhi ceilings kafi change ho gayi hain we're right now so the way this place is made it's like a central courtyard and iske around pura ka pura villa hai originally this was called villa viskaya and now obviously it's called the viskaya museum and art अभी भी वेयर ऑन द लोअर ग्राउंड फ्लोर सो दिस इज एक्चुअली बिल्ट ओवर वन एंड हाफ टू एंड हाफ फ्लोर्स एंड यहाँ पे मोस्टली डाइनिंग रूम्स सिटिंग रूम्स इस तरह की चीज़ें हैं दिस इज़ अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हैविंग अ वुड पैनल्ड सीलिंग विच आई थॉट वॉज रियली कूल दिस इज़ लाइक एन ऑफिस एरिया विच हैज़ ऑब्वियसली बिन रिस्टोर्ड अगैन बहुत अलग अलग जगहों से चीज़ें ला के उन्होंने इस तरह से डाली हैं एंड दिस गेस वॉट दिस इज दिस इज एक्चुअली अ लिटल रूम टू मेक your phone so this was like a phone call room within the house yet another ceiling gorgeous gorgeous chandelier and this candelabra just pe candle steady hai i think it's mind blowing i've never seen something like this it is so exquisite and this area i can tell you being a history student bahut inspired hai by the uh, by the french interiors now this is another beautiful ceiling right here and uh, we are walking out and as you can see yahan pe ye bhi sara jo aap dekh rahe hain walls pe this is hand painted wallpaper and what i actually noticed was jo floor pe jis tarah se unhone patterns banaye hain that kind of matches the ceiling so they've got all of this thing happening together so you've got the circles and you've got the squares uske baad we were moving up to the first floor and it is on the first floor that most of the bedrooms are present so this is one of the bedrooms as you can see yahan pe kuch to kiya hua hai and it's really really pretty the lighting was actually coming in so i couldn't show you but i actually loved this furniture and i loved the upholstery just reinstates the fact that white is always classic and timeless this is another bedroom and what i found really cool was there were there are about nine bedrooms here and unhone kya kiya hai ki rather than giving any random name to a bedroom they actually named it behind people and close friends and family members which i thought was really cool this is one of the bathrooms they have restored some of the parts of it and i think this particular bedroom was the most grand it was also the largest where you can see obviously like the really really beautiful bed the amazing ceilings and like you see and yahan pe is point pe we are in the other informal dining room and it is the informal dining room ke paas andar ja ke ye kitchen area hai jahan pe you see a lot of copper uh, uh, copper cooking utensils and you see their entire cooking grill their wash basins everything is right here and is i think they have just done such a great job in restoring it it is so beautiful and i think they had short people because ye hai ek seedi jo access karti hai baki cabinets ko and yahan pe inke measuring tools hai i'm pretty sure ke kafi baking hoti thi so this is like really old measuring tools for measuring whatever you you need to do and then you've got some more crockery and cutlery and all of that thing happening here now is point pe i'm going to show you something really cool so look at this ye kya hai this is basically like an ancient intercom system jahan pe staff ko call aata tha and ये चीज़ें लाइट अप होती थी सो यू कुड फिगर आउट कि आपको बॉल रूम से कॉल आ रहा है नीचे से आ रहा है फॉर्मल डाइनिंग रूम से आ रहा है सो दीज थिंग्स वुड लाइट अप यू वुड प्रेस दिस एंड देन यू वुड आंसर द कॉल्स डिपेंडिंग के कहाँ से आपको कॉल आई है दिस आई थॉट वॉज द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल पार्ट लाइक पूरा ऊपर का फ्लोर एंड दिस सेंटर कोट यार्ड इट इज सो सो ब्यूटिफुल आई जस्ट लव द वे द ट्रीज आर देर दिव गॉट लाइक अ blend of different kind of palm trees happening with a lot of colorful other fauna and then this is what i meant it's like one and a half floor so ek chhota sa floor upar chad ke there is another private bedroom and like a study area um ye actually specify nahi kiya tha ki kiska room hai but i'm pretty sure this is like pretty secluded so this may have been the owner's room um not quite sure but again really really beautiful and this i felt in terms of things that are put here is much simpler and sober now we are walking out so when you walk out of the garden area and off the main residence 
So this is the outside courtyard and this place can actually be rented out. I asked the organizers who were here tables who were here what is happening here and basically today there will be a wedding in the evening. So this entire place has been rented out and I think it's a really really good idea. In fact I think we should do this in India as well. So many of our monuments have nice places that can be rented out for important events and you know the revenue will also be maintained. Now this is the outside docking station and basically James Dare at that time was a huge fan of going fishing so he made a proper docking station in the middle so this entire docking station has been created in the middle which is super gorgeous and as I'm walking towards the end I realized that this is a little you know pastel green in the middle this is actually a tea house here they used to specifically come and have tea which I think is so so pretty I love this almost Tiffany blue slightly green kind of a color and this is just like imagine like a gazebo in the middle of water that's what it is and it is so so pretty this is the outside of the entire Vizcaya museum which was formerly called the Vizcaya villa and this is the docking station and uske baad hum ponche towards the end of the docking station where I decided to take a little walk spend some time this was so so beautiful this is i'm pretty sure that jahan likha bhi hua tha that you know they used to actually get their ships they used to do fishing and yahan pe sari cheeze dock hoti thi abhi also it is quite quite nice and these are the beautiful gardens was super hungry so we picked lunch on the way so we've had lunch i had chick fil a which was really good and this is the first time i had chick fil a i've always i've been to the us so many times never tried it so much better than McDonald's and I love McDonald's I can't wait for them to open up in Dubai and in India this is kind of the end of the vlog now finally we'll get to the airport check in there's a lot of time for the flight but check in time is in about two hours so we need to get to the airport now if you enjoyed my vlog let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more vlog content also let me know in the content below in the comment section below and if you uh, generally enjoy skincare and beauty related content then don't forget to subscribe I create new videos three times a week every Sundays Wednesdays and Fridays up this is the end of the vlog so I'm gonna see you next time bye